last time, but effectively just started fabricating this three inch frame that I'm working on. Uh, I had done some extra milling uh, on the edges. And I went over the edges with some CA uh, just to seal up the carbon fiber. I've got motors mounted on it. So next, what I'm doing is doing some electronics work. I've got this pre-tinned. I've got the motor wires pre-tinned on both sides. Uh, I've got the bottom lipo um, pad soldered as well as the top because I'm going to be using both. One's going to be powering the VTX and then one is going to be the actual battery lead. And then obviously the receiver pads, which are, I believe they, they have to go out of the U port on this. So I might put the power lead on here and flash all the firmware. I get the receiver and the VTX and all of that kind of stuff working, basically the guts of it working. And then uh, tidy up some of the wires because I've got a, I've got a, wire, a lot of wire length on here, on here, on here, so whatever. Um, I gotta clean things up. I'm gonna get my power wires uh, soldered up and do the thing. Flip her over. Do do do. We're not. Damn, that's good. Just tin up these wires a little bit. Yeah, we've got the camera lead uh, hooked up. I've got the ESCs all all wired up. The nice thing with the uh, with Kiss stuff is that you can side mount it, so it ends up tucking in there real nice, and I can tuck these wires up <clears throat> and have them pretty clean. Uh, I'm gonna clean those up with some alcohol and uh, tape these up. I realized I needed a better uh, FPV camera mount. They have just arrived from ready-made this is what we're looking at hopefully you can see that fairly well but there are these little C uh, C bend this is precisely the width it needs to be which is actually um, fairly convenient because uh, that will just squeeze a fox here right in there uh, screws go through here brilliant so I've rubber painted uh, all the uh, ESC joints on the outside as well as put uh, vibration dampening in here I just got the firmware uh, flash for this guy got the receiver bound up this receiver. Teeny. I've just kind of compacted these wires back there, so yeah, you don't really see much anything. Uh, I do have the antennas now mounted and heat trunk there. Soldering and electronics are done. Way, get some sun on the tip while it's cooling off. And I'll show you. The camera mounted, so we're looking. We're getting closer and closer to a finished uh, product. Here we are. Um, that is the camera mounted. Here you have basically the final build and I have the uh, OSD up and running. You can see everything's working great. Um, this is how you know, everything plugs in okay. I've got some foam on the bottom there. There's the VTX, I just zipped it up. Yeah, but, um, and hell, if a 450 is rocking enough on 4-cell, we'll see if I can't put my uh, this GoPro on it. So, uh, yeah, that's basically completes the build. Basically, I just have to uh, uh, do some firmware. Um, uh, just basically check the firmware, uh, set a, set the radio up properly, and all my settings, all my rates, that kind of thing. Um, set the PIDs, everything. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, looking forward to it. I'm gonna give this fucker a maiden. So here's what we're looking at. Uh, here. Uh, anyways, that's what we're rocking. This is a 450 uh, 4S from ReadyMade. I'm gonna give it a give it a whirl and see how we do.